Game one of the final match of Group A from BSL 12 Chobo League. Mielich is starting in the upper right-hand corner as the Yellow Terran. Crast, I got to give it to him. As manner as always, good luck, have fun. Keep in mind, in this is who he faced in his opening matches and did not have success. He's starting at the six, at the six o'clock location as the Blue Protoss. This is going to be on Power Bond, which I'll go ahead and do a map reveal. That's kind of the cool thing in the middle, a weird command center, uh, whatever. But it's almost like a it's one of the few large macro-oriented three-player maps, which I've mentioned before. But, I don't know, I find it more interesting as a result. Because it, I guess, it's more distant spawn, so some of the more, like, aggressive rushes aren't as easy to execute. But, I don't know, it feels, I don't know, I kind of like Power Bond in the mix of all this. I'm not sure what the overall racial balance is. I'm glad it's in the map pool. But this is going to be the opener for the final match. Grast has to feel a little bit uncomfortable. I'm wondering if he is going to opt for early game aggression, uh, knowing that. It looks like what he's going to, he's setting up. Or is he gonna plop down the gateway? I almost wonder if he's gonna open up 12 Nexus. He's opting for gateway first, now sending out that probe scout. Opposite corner, we do have Mielich going ahead and getting the supply depot and barracks kind of along those corners, grabbing the refinery very quickly as well. So wants to get a very fast factory. And Grass going ahead and scouting out to the upper left-hand corner initially. My curiosity is, is Grass knowing it looked like he was trying to play more of like the economic game early on. I almost feel like knowing that you lost two matches pretty convincingly to Mihalic going very aggressive in the mid-game. I wonder if that is going to trigger him to do some adjustments and maybe go for some earlier, earlier pressure. Maybe some reaver play. Uh, maybe just some early game busts. Maybe a bulldog. Uh, something along those lines. Assimilator grabbed no initial zealot because didn't scout into the Terran's base here. Seven X core warping alongside. No second pylon yet, either for Grast. Gonna go ahead and drop that pylon upper left hand corner. SCV starting to scout for Mihalich. He's gonna go to the upper left hand corner first. It's possible that he'll do an adjustment once he sees this probe. Looks like not. He's just gonna continue along the way. But grabbing his factory. An additional supply depot, only one SCV on gas, so Mihalich gonna go ahead and opt to get an earlier, probably one factory to expand from this play. Already has that Marine boxing out that, uh, that I always click the wrong player, boxing out that initial probe. No, I, I did it right. You'd think the one you're clicking on is like the one, whatever. Anyway, so probe is able to wander up. It does get a good look there. Ugh, having trouble with this today. Uh, is able to get in there, is able to get a good look at the factory, also sees that there's only a single SCV on gas, which gives a strong indicator that it's going to be more fast expansion build. SCV making its way across, but the Dragoon should be there to blockade the ramp before it gets there. Should be, I say critically. Might be a little bit close. Here's the SCV, here's the Dragoon. Should be rallied to the ramp. Okay, it's making its way forward. Okay, is there by a handful of seconds. Nope, it's gonna, well, is he gonna go out? Okay, trying to engage. Probe actually is letting this happen. He's gonna get the block. Okay, pin the SCV out one direction. But unfortunately, kind of unusual. <laughs> I'm not sure about that play from Grass. So he blocks out the SCV to deny scouting information, but then also plopped the Nexus right in front of Mielich's face. So he saw, so Mielich now knows there's an actual expansion being built. So he's gonna feel very, very comfortable going ahead and grabbing his natural, maybe even uh, skipping siege tech upgrade before doing so. Dragoon making its way forward. This is a lot of Marines. Actually, Mielich looks like he, so despite, and he's actually put three SCV back on gas. So I take it back. He's gonna go for some sort of early push. He's producing a lot of Marines. This is a, it's unusual to see a single factory push though. Hiding, I like what he's doing, hiding these Marines in the back. The lack of bunker, the lack of supply depot in other things on the front has to be an indicator to grass though. He's going mine, so there's gonna be a vulture follow-up. Still no second factory, oddly enough. Perhaps because he had that one SCV on gas, perhaps opting to do so because he saw that command center. Second gateway and, or sorry, second and third gateway and robotics facility down for grass. And now Mihalich moving forward, so he's so kind of doing a weird FD here with two siege tanks and a bunch of marines. But the marines are staggered out where 
the stutter stepping Goliath or sorry Goliath stutter stepping uh, dragoons still might be able to pick a handful of them off trying to engage doing a nice delay and redirect trying to push him up to the after left hand corner three of the marines are breaking off to go ahead and go for this the siege tanks trying to chase these down to the upper right before kind of rejoining but that's a lot of time to go ahead and get additional units out to try to defend this only a single dragoon there currently though and the dragoon to the north was in fact wiped out so oof, this is actually this might actually pay off so mines are up Siege checks on the way. A vulture's there waiting for the rest of his army. A dragoon trying to chase this SEV on that back corner. So Mihalich, uh, with this timing, again, like more interesting timings that I have not yet seen. The dragoon getting wiped out once again. So two dragoons trying to defend all this on the front. It is coming in staggered. There is a way to like micro or maybe even get a mind drag to get out of this. But right now things looking ugly for Grass once again. And is he going to try to mind drag his way into this? Uh, probes pulling off the line to try to defend. Some of those probes getting wiped out. And again, just down to a single Dragoon. Mihalich, I think, might have won this on kind of an odd, like a one factory odd time push with a bunch of Marines. Just because Grass not quite able to get the macro he was looking for uh, to defend this off. And he do it doesn't even look like he needs to build a bunker here. Yeah, just going to set up and siege. Now uh, grabbing a missile turret just in case there are DTs to follow. So Grass having a huge amount of difficulty. Fighting off Mihalic in these early games. Just now getting a, a shuttle. And I don't know what to say. Uh, he might be able to hold the ramp for a while. So pulling some probes to try to deal with this. And those, unfortunately, filtering down. Losing a lot of damage. Might, is he going to save the Nexus? No. More reinforcements sweeping in. Able to take out one siege tank. That's down. More mines being planted. And now, yeah... Now Grass is basically sealed into one base, trying to get a mine drag right there. Another Dragoon getting picked off on the ramp. And the Vultures can just kind of wander off, reinforce, continue to plant mines. And with this, and let's see if there's a bunker that is placed as well. Might as well, honestly, at this stage. This is three gates of production. We have another factory that's been plopped down at the main. More siege tanks being produced. Natural expansion's up. So Mihalich in a commanding position here on the follow-up. There is a shuttle. So maybe scooping that up with something else, finally the bunker being built. Maybe scooping that up, trying to get a drop right on top of that siege tank with some units might be able to break out. But even if that happens, Grass is currently sitting at 17 probes. Hasn't had his natural expansion for quite a long period of time. Uh, that bunker's up. The Marines are, in fact, in it. So, And there's more siege tanks and more reinforcements going in. So here's the thing. Even if he musters enough to go ahead and break out of this... Mihalich is going to be, unless he goes and just completely counters and runs over Mihalich's base, uh, base to follow this up, Mihalich is in such a commanding position that he doesn't really need to worry. Um, maybe if the shuttle scooped up and did like a counter drop of a Dark Templar or something like that, and the main got the turret, something along, the, along those lines, uh, might be able to pull off the victory. I don't see any movement towards DT tech, though. Looks like Rast is just going to try to go ahead and break out of this contain. Mihalich not reinforcing it all that much. He does have siege tanks continually being produced here. Grabbing two additional factories. And is, you know, building a handful of attack force. Just holding them in his main, though, for unknown reasons, actually. I would expect... Okay, you've got a bit of a skeleton contained. Might as well uh, stagger it out. He's, I do like what he's doing here with this SCV. Making sure that no additional expansion, no additional sneaky expansion was taken. Grass starting to move down with this attack force. This actually will be sufficient to go ahead and break this. And clear this out. Those siege tanks are going to get wiped out. The bunker is going to get taken down. The SCV not repairing the bunker, so it's going to go down a little bit faster than usual. But even so, like Grass at this stage, he needs to win it, uh, would be my argument, with the troops he's got here on the ground. Because even with this, Mihalich, you know, easily able to seal in his base, continue the economic uh, game. Yeah, he's going to go ahead and grab. So basically, Grass needs some sort of miracle drop. Or a miracle attack to push back into this match, and I just don't see it happening. Mialich at 47 pro, 47 workers overall, grabbing yet another factory to go up, and it almost feels like he's going for that 11 minute timing. Comparatively, he's got plenty of siege tanks to go ahead and repel this deck. They are largely grouped, so the shuttle might be able to make a difference. No mines planted, which is good, because the mines planted right there would just allow mine drags. But yeah, Grass needs to get aggressive and make something happen. Attacking that engineering bay, this is... Maybe he can elevator some troops up. 
So, yeah, it looks like he's going to elevator some troops up and try to go from there. Let's see if Mielich is aware of it. He is aware of it, starting to move those vultures back to go ahead and engage this as it's dropping. As long as the vultures and, and units there are in position to go ahead and engage it as it's dropping, he should be able to defend this on two fronts without too much trouble. And is, in fact, doing so. This is enough vultures to go ahead and clean that up. And I think once this army is wiped out, that should be GG, theoretically. Already has that science uh, facility and that starport in the background. Um... Does he have level 1 weapons? Does he have level 1 weapons? He can honestly just... If Mielich wanted to at this stage, he could honestly just lift everything up and go for counterattack and finish the match. Building a supply depot at a potential third base to go ahead and deny it. Doesn't even need to finish it, to be honest. Fourth gateway for Grass. Grass in a lot of trouble. Still sitting at a... So he's gone ahead... He's grabbed his natural expansion. I don't see that there's any way for him to really sneak back into this, is really what I'm kind of coming down to. Mihalic would have to utterly fail at this stage. He's already at 111 supply. He's almost basically at twice uh, grasp supply. So I'm waiting for something along those, uh, along those lines. The supply depot is blocking out that third. He does have some more Dragoons and some Zelts, but basically Mihalic would have to... with Especially with the weapons upgrade in play... What he would need to do is, is he would just need to drop his keyboard, break it, chew it out, uh, come in piecemeal, something, you know, basically be silly. Instead, he's moving out with the level 1 weapons uh, online. With a bunch of siege tanks, a bunch of vultures, Grast is starting to move out. And here's the other thing is, is on Power Bond, you do have kind of these bridge ramps. Not ramps. These bridge areas that just make siege tanks even more powerful uh, as they're starting to move out. Anyway, so I'm going to call this, I'm going to say that Mielish should win this. It's kind of inevitable as, as far as a game one at the very least. But what I'm looking for is, is for Grass to do something new and interesting in game two. Um, two. Double shuttle. I think one, yeah. But here's the thing, yeah, Mielich has enough attack. Because he's basically a double supply, he doesn't even need to siege a lot of his attack forces to make this happen. I do like what Grass is doing is trying to kind of keep this at a side position to be like, well, if you attack me, I will devastate you, but... Even with just the reinforcements coming out of this amount of factories, that's sufficient for Mielich to defend his base with this push. Instead, it looks like he's just going to sit back, wait for level 2 weapons, wait for level 1 armor, and then execute the, pr the push from there. And Grast is still just pumping off 5 gateways, off 2 bases. Um, again, and 2 base, theoretically, in like the meta game of everything, If in theory, if you're even on bases, TVP, the Terran is ahead. Um... So now we start, are starting to see that move out. So looking for the 1A, 2A. This is, you know, it's like the factory man versus gateway man. I almost, it feels like there should be like a, that would be like a fun little comic book series where it's like the adventures of gateway and factory man. Gateway man, factory man. It's like neither of them, they're like the, the superhero team duo. They're going out trying to stop the spread of, the, the scourge of the Zerg out in the galaxy. Can I have like Nexus Nexus's transforming, command centers transforming into like multi-part robots? It'd be amazing. I honestly would you know what I'd love to see is an expansion on uh just engaging right here, you can just A move into this. An expansion of StarCraft that's like just a little bit more uh, silly like that, where it's like, you know, more like Transformer or not Transformers. Uh, Power Rangers esque. Power Ranger, you know, grouping and attacking. Stuff like that. And then you just have like the pitiful Zerg with Kerrigan, who's kind of like a... What was that villain? Where she, the evil woman who's laughing a lot from that series. <laughs> Something on those lines. The ah, ha, 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 woman. In the background. Anyway. I think that would be entertaining. There's GG from Grass. Game 1. Going to Mihalic. Uh, very, very, very comfortably. I do want to say, yeah, Trent... Getting comments from chat. Transformers in the StarCraft world would be pretty awesome. I mean, that's sort of in StarCraft 2 what uh, the Valkyrie is, right? A little bit-ish. But if there was like the living, if like the, the Terran units became sentient somehow, they're like, why do we even like have AI, you know, you, you, they get rid of it, they make them AI, or like no more humans in this, no more, we're going to be hum human humanitarian all of a sudden, all of a sudden they become like the overwhelming AI. Now we're just theory crafting worlds. <laughs> GG, we'll move on to game two. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.